Hi Leo, it is your turn for the August 2019 uh, Zodiac Oracle Blessing. I'm actually kicking off the month with your blessing because it's your birthday. Uh, so I'm very excited to do just that. I hope that you're feeling good. Oh look, this is your card on the bottom of the deck. Uh, strength is the card for Leo. You can see the lion right there. Uh, and it's a really appropriate message for Leo, right? So uh, Leo is the strong fatherly energy, warm, kind, beautiful usually, really uh, full of energy and life. And uh, when they're shining, they're feeling really, really great. When the world is validating them, they're feeling amazing. Uh, however, when they're not getting enough positive feedback, sometimes their internal world can turn amok and the strength card tends to uh, be a, a blessing of um, clearing the mind, being strong in your mind, to, to have the strength to take on uh, the false uh, beliefs in the mind, the, the dark dirty of the mind. So to just have strength over yourself. Alright, but that's not your card. It's just a quinky dink. So let's see what's coming up for August uh, 2019. I hope that you watched the uh, All Signs intro. If not, no big deal. Uh, these Oracle Blessings are intended to serve your highest good. And before we get started, let's actually uh, take a moment to uh, tap in with each other. I'm going a little backwards. I got excited because of that card. And one of your cards already came out. So, uh, but let's backtrack. So just take your hands together for a moment. Bring them so that your thumbs are right against your sternum, your chest bone. Good. And let your shoulders come down your back. Your elbows can be out to the side or they can be relaxed. It's really up to you. And then see if you can sit back into your skeleton a little. Let your eyes relax. And just take a few deep breaths. Breathing in deeply, I want you to imagine your favorite color light coming in through your heart, your forehead, and the crown of your head all at once. Then hold your breath and let it spread throughout the whole body. Good, then exhale it out onto your fingertips. Good, inhale deeply. And breathe it out. Inhale. And maybe out through your nose this time. Good. And with your hands, I want you to take both your hands over your belly. This is your solar plexus. This is where your internal sunshine lives. Your self-esteem. This will be the theme of the month. Connecting with our internal sunshine so that we can shine our best qualities, our most healing qualities, our most uplifting qualities into the world, into our community, into our families' lives, into uh, wherever we are needed, that we may be guided. And help. And a feeling of warmth and acceptance. Then keep one of your hands on your belly and take your other hands on your heart. And then bring your attention above the crown of your head. This is your I am presence, your higher power, your higher self. And I'd like you to uh, give your higher self or ask your higher self permission to connect with my higher self. And we will only be connected during this time together. As soon as the session is over, our energy will no longer be connected. 
and our personal energy will not be intermingled in any way, but instead um, universal life force energy will be connecting us for the purpose of bringing you more into alignment with your highest good. So you're going to be happy and at peace and bring more light and joy into the world. Bring your palms together. Down your head. Okay. So we had a little bit of a rough start, but you'll be able to handle it because uh, the first card that came out is the Ten of Cups, and this is a blessing of love, celebration, partnership, and you can see uh, they made a little family there, which is quite cute and wonderful. And basically, they've collected all the cups that they could on their own, and now they're coming together in pure abundance, love, and light. So that's the first blessing of the month. Let's see from the chakra deck. So, August is the month of Leo for the most part, and I, I always think of it as like the last few days of vacation, right, with summer, where you're finally relaxed enough to be yourself, you know, you, you've acclimated to the land, you, or wherever you're staying, to the people you're hanging out with, and you're finally, you're finally feeling it, and you're ready to like, just, just, Put down all the guards and, and really be yourself. That's Leo season. Okay, let's see what comes up. <clears throat> oh, there it is. You got the gossip card. Uh, it's green, so it's an invitation to continue working on the heart. So you have some opening up for relationships happening. And you're being uh, encouraged to not pay attention to gossip, what people have to say about you or each other, and to not uh, engage in gossip. Because really, um, you you something that I was told, or maybe that has come up uh, just from experience, but uh, when you're talking about someone, your words are magic especially uh, Leos, you're very, very powerful. So when you say something about someone, it's almost like you're cursing them or you're blessing them. So if you're talking kindly about someone, you're basically like putting magic out into the universe and more people are believing this, this really lovely stuff about, about uh, this person. Their perception is kind of seeing them in this light. And the more negativity you put out into the world about someone, the same. So just ask yourself, do you want the karma associated uh, with putting negativity out into the world about someone? Probably not. Also though, if you hear other people engaging in things that you don't know, that you know are false, you sticking up for someone and putting uh, some good magic, good words into the universe about that person into the conversation might actually be able to balance it out a little bit and make the other people who are observing uh, less likely to, to see the person in a negative light. We don't know anyone's whole story, so maybe we have some really negative things to say about each other, but at the end of the day, uh, anything that we, we are saying is limited to our own perspective. So do your best to not engage in too much gossip this month. Instead, tapping into your compassion, your love. Okay, for the sacred rebels. green energy receiving good uh, it's the number 27 and she is she's taking in uh, some sort of medicine and you can see that she's having a, like a multi-sensory experience as she does it just really letting herself uh, soak it in taste it appreciate it feel into it uh, so maybe this loving energy 
uh, really moving into like the receptivity of it all, uh, letting yourself open up to it, not be too hard to it, not too suspicious, and not feeding into or listening to gossip. Um, and if you are hearing anything that might be tempting to close your heart off, just remembering uh, to to move into that open-hearted receptive receptivity mode uh, and not feed into the temptation to close yourself off. And then last, we have the goddess oracle. I really need a haircut. Every time I shuffle the cards, my hair gets caught in them. But if I got my hair cut, it would still be really long. So I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. You've got two cards. These aren't your cards, but they're worth mentioning. Uh, you've got Changing Woman. So this goddess is the goddess of cycles. So kind of letting yourself um, have new beginnings and saying goodbye and just kind of letting that cycle of life continue. Uh, this is also honoring the seasons and, and you know, just because things were difficult in the past doesn't mean they're going to be difficult tomorrow, but just because they're good now doesn't mean that they're never going to be bad. Uh, just being okay with that because all of that is helping you grow and evolve. We also have sensuality. Uh, ocean so you you know moving into more of a uh, central experience of the present moment letting yourself come into the present moment through the senses feeling the temperature of the room feeling uh, the feelings of your body your tasting whatever it is uh, left in in your taste palette hearing the sounds around you all of that can help bring you into the present moment and when we're in the present moment it's easier to receive okay so let's see what your actual card is though I don't really have many Leos in my life at this time I, I in the past have always had quite a few um, but I think I might have a few Leo Risings and Leo Moons. Um, I love Leo energy. It doesn't always love me. Sometimes my, my Mercury in Leo, which is like self-expression, can annoy people who have dominant Leo energy because I can come off as a know-it-all. It just doesn't go off well. I try to work on that as much as possible. <laughs> but I just like engaging in conversation. It's not because I think I know everything. I just enjoy it. I like to be. But anyway, it's about me. All right. And the card that is yours is Shakti energy. So to me, this is really kind of calling in, uh, doing some deep, deeper, subtle body work, you know, this whole idea of really kind of tapping into the present moment, uh, feeling into uh, what is energetically attracting you to others in the moment, uh, feeling into the, the more um, extraordinary things that happen in your relationships that kind of show you that something is real or not real. Uh, often we will partner with people based on what we think we should want. Uh, we will have, we'll maintain friendships and things like that based on what once was. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they're energetically compatible at this time. So uh, I think this is probably a really great message to to become more aware of your energy, to to pay attention to how things are energetically affecting you and if they're putting you down or making you feel better about yourself. Uh, and this energy, you know, you can see in the center the internal sunshine that we mentioned at the beginning. We want that to shine bright, but not brighter than the other chakras, right? So making sure that we're grounded in this reality, making sure that we're creatively satisfied, essentially satisfied, making sure that we are, we feel like we matter, that we're in the world, that we're doing something, that we're 
we're we're adding in some way, making sure that our our needs, our love needs, our connection needs are being met, making sure we're able to express ourselves and be heard and understood, making sure that our intuitive mind or imagination is healthy and it's creating beautiful things, not only uh, reflecting on the negative or creating the negative, and making sure that we're connected to something higher than ourselves, whether that be uh, enlightenment or God or whatever you want to call it, but making sure that we have some sort of higher understanding. And once all of that is in alignment, we, we feel whole, right? So if for any reason this month you're feeling like you're lacking wholeness, uh, it might be a good idea to, to focus on something like yoga or meditation or even just walking, uh, something purposeful. Look into the chakras and activities that you can do, but monitor your energy. If you're feeling like you are, are putting out more than you're giving or receiving, uh, try taking a salt bath or just taking a night or day to just kind of hide from the world, trusting that it will give you the energy of the shine in the way that you'd like to the next day. Um, but yeah, I think, I think there's, there's some, some yummy stuff coming up for you. And we just want to keep you in a place where you, you're able to appreciate it and you don't get caught up in anything that is meant to, uh, detract from the situation that you don't, uh, let anyone, what other people have to say, uh, ruin it for you, that you're able to receive each moment, that you're here in the moment, that you're taking it in, that you're tasting it, that you're really appreciating it without clinging to it and that you're monitoring your energy so that you can feel whole in each moment, yeah, and that you're giving just as much as you're receiving. All right, that is your Oracle Blessing for this month. I am hoping that you have the most amazing birthday season and that you are able to really, really fill your cup up because, Leo, you know, we really love seeing you shine. Uh, especially when you do it from a, a place of security and understanding of your purpose. Thank you for existing. Uh, we love you very much. Namaste. Hmm.